and welcome back to the channel. Today, this has just arrived. This should be a nice CNC fuel filler cap to replace the one that came on the bike. The one that comes on the bike, um, it's quite stiff with the key. There are ways to, you can loosen that. But either way, when you take it off, I'll demonstrate this when I go back outside. When you take it off, um, there's a chance that stuff can fall into the fuel tank. Um, either mud off your gloves or off the rest of the bike. I've got um, my racks around the back. I don't want anything going into the fuel tank. So I thought I'd replace it with this. I've seen other people online, uh, Codger Biker, hello Codger Biker, um, have put them on their bikes. Um, and I thought I'd follow suit on their recommendations. This was 45 pounds. And it comes in black as well, and that's 55 pounds. You can buy them from a company called Vanash Motorsports. I think they're based in the States. And in England, they cost £125. So I bought this instead from Nice CNC. So it's got a bit of mounting, hard, uh, mounting hardware there. Looks pretty good. Nice anodizing. Decent O-ring in there so that when you do it up, it stays tight, that's not loose, that's not coming off, even with the vibrations on the bike. I like that, there's a little space there. I see there's a little sticker in the um, in the bag there. I don't know whether I'll put that on or not, but um, yeah, looks good. That's, um, that's the tether for the cap when you fill it up. So let's take it outside and get it fitted. So this is the new kit that we bought. Let's get it on the bike. So key in, remove the petrol cap, the old one. I've already undone the bolts there and taken the breather hose off, so we get that out. Pop the new one in, and as you can see, it's a slightly better fit. You take the cap off and there's less likely for stuff to fall in, which is why we've done it. However, we do have a problem that that little toggle there is the seat release mechanism. So we're gonna to have to change that. Previous models of the bike, they've had it down the side of the bike. So I think that's what we're gonna do. First of all, we'll see if it will reach. I don't think it will, otherwise we might have to modify it. So we're gonna remove the rear rack using M5 and six, uh, four mil Allen bolts. Take those bolts off too, and also the one that's underneath that holds the rear plastics on. Remove the cap, bung it up so that nothing can fall in. Take that off. The re little retaining clip for the toggle is there, but as you can see, obviously it works, but it's too short to go anywhere else on the bike. That's where it was, and that's where it is now. So we're gonna have to modify it. So I think what we're gonna do is try and get it long enough so that it goes down the side of the bike. So we've got some gear cable, just off of a mountain bike gears and some gear outer. And we're going to use this and this swaging kit that it cost me 20 pounds off Amazon to create a little loop at the end. So it's almost like it was factory fitted. First of all, we're going to remove the old one. We're going to use some decent quality cutters. The beauty of that is that when you do cut, you get that nice neat end that doesn't fray when you try to poke it back through the uh, thing. We're going to use those fittings that came with the original pull system. So we're going to take the cable out, being careful not to lose the spring, and reverse install. So put that in, pop the spring on, pop the little retainer, and then we can put our outer on. That just fits into the little bit there. Put our outer on and plan where we're going to put it on the bike. That just sits in there. Just make sure it works, which it does. Now we can thread it through and see where we've got to cut the outer. I never throw anything away, so all this stuff was literally laying in boxes in my garage. So this actually didn't cost me anything apart from the swaging kit. So remove the inner so that you don't cut through that because you don't want to do that. Cut the cable, push the inner back through, and again, just check that it works. I left about three inches on the end there. That's the ferrule that would normally live uh, that would go into your rear derailleur on your bike. Put the swaging kit on. A little bit of heat shrink to make it look neat when we've finished. Pop that back through the swaging and then give it a little crimp. 
However, there is a, a little mistake that I've made while I've been doing this. I've actually pulled the other end out of the fitting. So what we've done is actually a little bit short. So the heat shrink goes on and we pull it and then we realize there's a little gap there at the end. So we've either got to shorten the cable, which means starting again, possibly even with a new cable, or lengthening the outer. So what we're gonna do is get a little bit of the swaging kit. It's just soft aluminium. Pop it on to the cable there, just to take up that slack, which means that the other end can't come out of the fitting there. There we go, it's all installed. Put your hand down the side of the bike, give it a little tug, and it works. Happy days. So now we can get on with the original job, which was installing our nice CNC filler cap. So we put the fairing and the plastics back on, take the old one off, pop the new one in. I've already loaded up the breather pipe. The O-ring there, you'll see a little bit of grease on there. The only reason I've done that is to stop it from moving around when I install the cap, because I did it a couple of times and it moved, so that just keeps that in place. The cap has to have its little tether on, but you can't do it too tight because you want the cap to spin and the tether not to. So I'm just going to put this on with a bit of Loctite and we'll leave that overnight before disturbing it. So we'll just screw that in, back it off half a turn and then that's all nice and loose there. Fit that on the bike, put the other screws in and that's it, job done. Should have only taken five minutes but we had to uh, extend the seat release. There we go and when we take the cap off much less chance of stuff going into the tank. Happy days. Here you see it on the bike, we're out the trails at this point. Just gonna show you the toggle, where it's situated and how easy it is to use, he says, with one hand on the camera. There you go, you just pull that and the seat comes off. Great stuff. Well, I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please like and subscribe. Uh, there's plenty more videos on the way, all the other th modifications that we've done to the bike, but um, hopefully we'll see you soon. Take care.